So let us get ready. Take a few deep breaths. And if you haven't already, gently close your eyes. It might take some time for us to relax the body and even relax the mind. Relax the mind means to let go, to let go of things that are holding us back. For example, doubts. For example, expectation, irritation or impatience. So let us begin to take a few moments to simply bring our attention to our breathing. Now we don't have to be locating the touch point of our breathing in the nose area, but simply the breathing, noticing the breathing. Wherever it is clear, that would be the area A mind that is dispersed is not very strong. We can't make full use of it. It can be pretty useless. So think of this as coming home, easing into the present moment. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. Just here. Be present here and now. During this time, you want to choose to give attention to the breathing and not all our worldly thinking. Not the sounds outside, not the images we see inside, just the breathing. Now, when you feel ready, we're going to deepen this, change the quality of this presence, mental presence. In other words, we're going to work on deeper relaxation. A teacher in Thailand used to tell me, always start off in the Thai word, sabai sabai, it means easy going, easy going. I really didn't quite understand why we couldn't jump in straight away at that time. But I gave it a go anyway. And then I realized that the more relaxed We allow the mind and body to become, yet maintaining awareness. The mind ease into calmness very easily. So let's take time to do this, to ease in. Direct your attention. First of all, 
a broad base from the top of your head down to the base where you're seated. Find a place where you feel relaxed and comfortable. Could you sense an area where you feel most comfortable? This could be your breathing area in a diaphragm. Could be the base where you're seated. So we want to expand this comfort elsewhere in the body. Let us begin to bring all parts of the body to deeper relaxation. I recommend taking a deep breath Bringing your awareness to the front of your face. Maintaining slow and long breath. That way you feel your mind is beginning to feel centered. Noticing any tension in the face area and just allow allow this space or this place to just ease and allow relaxation to deeply occur. As if tension melting from center to both sides and melting deep within until it vanishes. Relaxing inside out Keep your awareness in front of your face, maintaining deep breaths in and slow breath, long, slow breath. Pay particular attention to around the eyes area. Bring soft and kind awareness just to shine that awareness on it and let all the tension melt whenever it comes back from time to time. So we may begin our metta in this process. Maintain awareness in the front of your face and let us offer, bring up kindness in the mind. May I be well. So to allow the tension to melt. Let go of all thoughts. Just hold the kind thoughts with awareness. May I 
be well. May I be well. Continue to sweep this kind awareness down to your neck. Take another long breath. Let it expand your chest and straighten our neck by lifting our chin a little. And in our long breath out, softening our shoulders, softening our back. May I be well. Continue to bring this kind awareness to our arms, scanning down to our wrist, all the way to fingers. Sometimes if we don't bring awareness to these places, we don't notice tightness. So whenever you notice tightness, just relax it and repeat, may I be well. May I recommend that you repeat this three, four more times and each time when you repeat, allow for deeper relaxation and full release of anything in the mind that's holding you back from deeply relaxing. And as you do, you'll be able to feel your fingers getting softer. You can feel the weight just resting. Bring this kind awareness to the front of you from the chest all the way down. the diaphragm and abdomen. And again, repeat this five, six more times and allow for deep relaxation. May I be well. Allow our abdomen, our entire body, to fully relax. Wherever there's tightness, allow it to soften. And bring that kind awareness to the rest of our body. 
from legs to feet and toes. May I be well. May I be well. Center your attention to the words, but maintain a broad feel of awareness from the top of your head all the way down to the base where you're seated. If it's on a chair, that will include your feet on the floor. And repeat, may I be well. And maintaining this broad field of awareness, wherever tension arises, you would just bring that kind awareness to that area and relax. Maintain this by repeating a few times. Take your time to do this until you feel the body completely relax and no sensations bother you. Now begin to recenter your attention to just the words, gradually ignoring the body. May I be happy. As you repeat this, Let go of anything which you may not notice clearly, but you feel is holding the mind back, a kind of resistance from allowing it to feel relaxed and happy. So allowing the mind to soften As you repeat, may I be happy. We are bringing out unconditional care, kindness, love. Therefore, there's no need for reasons for happiness to come along with it. May I be happy.
May I be well, peaceful, and happy. May I be well, peaceful, and happy. having experienced this kind of happiness, mental comfort through this kindness, would you like to offer it to someone close to you, offering the same mental comfort that you are experiencing now? to some other person through thoughts. Let's do that. May my loved one, put a name there, whoever that might be, be well, peaceful, and happy. May this person be well, peaceful, and happy. Say it with sincerity. May all meditators here be well, peaceful, and happy. Maintaining kindness by extending this offer to someone difficult. May this person, if you don't know their name, a thought will do. May this person be well, peaceful, and happy. If you want to challenge yourself a little, try repeating it two or three more times, but repeat it with sincerity, with intention, wholeheartedly.
now offering kindness to all beings, directing our kindness to all beings. May all beings, seen and unseen, above, below, and all around, be well, peaceful, and happy. So we will switch over to wisdom practice. As we do, let's begin by taking notice of the quality of your mind in this present moment. Take a few moments just to notice what are these qualities May I offer you some words to help you experience it. Mental softness. Kindness. There's also mental comfort. The mind is feeling very stable. We call mental balance. Sometimes we call it patience if it's in relation to a difficult object. So if you balance, that's the mental state of patience. You notice the awareness isn't very prominent. So let's begin to develop that. So direct your attention to the body, our first foundation of mindfulness. Noticing your sitting posture. from the top of your head down to the base where you're seated, right down to the feet where you're touching the floor, if you're seated on the chair. Now, direct your attention to the diaphragm area or abdomen to build up a more concentrated form of mindfulness or awareness. As you breathe in and out naturally, start to take notice of the sensations connected to the breathing in this area. Now to help you build a continuity, as you might notice, that the mind begins to drift because the object is so neutral. 
might find the mind getting disinterested, so it starts to drift. So you want to give the mind more work to do. A variety of objects. So let's have two areas. Two areas of interest. One in the abdomen, the other around the sit bone area. Let's start off doing this together before I leave you to do it on your own. Again, as you breathe in and out naturally. Bring an awareness to the abdominal area and start to take notice of the sensations connected with it. Keep your mind centered, in other words, balanced. Centered, present and centered. Noticing expansion, noticing contraction, and then with some energy or not lazy, direct the mind with intention to the sit bone area. Bring an awareness to the sit bone area, taking notice of other elements, hot, heat, warmth, hardness, tingling maybe, maybe even vibration. And I repeat this to help you recognize hardness, softness, Heaviness, lightness, roughness, you might or might not feel this, smoothness, probably not so clear here. There might be movements, like sensations are moving or jumping. Sometimes we note them as vibration. Hot or cold. I would recommend that you pay attention alternately between the abdomen and the sit bone area for a minute. Well, keep your awareness soft, keep your mind interested, noticing as much as you can because that builds your awareness.
body to relax. Mind is soft, aware, clear and alert. I'm going to ask you questions. Don't answer it in your head. Just simply take notice in your experience. Simply notice. What are you watching right now? What are you watching? Is it rise and fall? Or is it heat or hardness? Take a few moments. What are you watching? So, knowing, knowing, knowing the object is hardness or air element, which is the movement. Knowing, knowing, element, hardness. So these are objects. Continue to just take notice in one area or alternating the two areas. your mind soft, centered, aware, I'm going to drop you another question. Who is, or rather, what is noticing? What is it that is noticing, that rise and fall, or the heat or hardness? Could you just shift your focus to take notice that there is something, a phenomenon that is taking notice. Let's do this together, rising, falling. There is knowing there, right? That is the mind. Just relax. Do this with a very relaxed, pull back mind. Go back to the rise and fall again. In a very relaxed way, watch it. Maintain watching rise and fall.
there's a knowing. And what's being noticed is the rise and fall. As if this rise and fall is in this space of knowing. In the space of awareness. Watch the space or watch this awareness. So for one more minute, I'd like for you to maintain watching the so-called space, which is the awareness or the mind. Is the object always rise and fall? Or does the object change? Like suddenly you're thinking about the car. So car is now the object. See if the, the space or the mind has the same quality. Does it feel angry? What is it? So you're watching the mind in relation to the car. So watch. What are the qualities of this mind in relation to that object? Be it rise or fall or heat or hardness or something else. If it is something else like thinking, step back from the thinking. Watch the mind in relation to that thought. Is it still on rise and fall? If it's other things, does the quality of your attention change? Change the what? I'm just going to offer you a few more words before we close. Do you recognize that it's enjoying the object? That's the attachment mind. Does it feel that it's rejecting, disgusted with the object? That's ill will mind. Do you experience some periods of absence like you don't know what happened? That's the delusion mind. Let us bring it to a close by sharing merits. May the merits we have acquired through metta and wisdom meditation be shared by our protecting devas and devas everywhere. We share these merits with our dear departed relatives and all beings, seen and unseen, near and far, 
big and small, strong and weak. May all beings everywhere be well and happy, sharing this merit. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.